You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You're you looking for attention. You're trying to live a life that, that you didn't grow up in. You're not that, Ryan. Okay? You're a boxer. Stick to that, bro. Keep George Floyd's name out your mouth. If you hate niggas and want to join the KKK like you said on Clubhouse, go ahead. Just don't fuck with us. And don't expect us to fuck with you. Yo, get that reacts right back where you at, man. Your boy Havoc coming to you. My brother is always got Q, got Juju with me today in the studio. Man, Ryan Garcia is talking out his ass recently. And I ain't gonna lie to you, he deserve an ass whooping. Deserve one. It's that like he's about to give him one, man. Steven Jackson, close friend of George Floyd, has some words for Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia and, and things that he was saying about George Floyd on that Twitter space, man. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the content. Let's get it popping. Hey man. Hope y'all having a good day. Check this out. Listen, first you go from taking steroids. <sighs> then you're talking about digging George Floyd up and killing him again. Now you're talking about you hate niggas and you want to join the KKK. <sighs> Look, dog, you need, you need to get some help, bro. Because we don't play by the same rules that you play by in that ring, dog. And I'm just telling you. Just like I told you in the DM when you said some flash that I told you to get some help because it's a whole different ball game out here, bro. Anybody that got to bring up the dead is dying inside. You a clout chaser. That's all you are. You're you looking for attention. You're trying to live a life that, that you didn't grow up in. You're not that, Ryan. Okay? You're a boxer. Stick to that, bro. Keep George Floyd's name out your mouth. If you hate niggas and want to join the KKK like you said on Clubhouse, go ahead. Just don't fuck with us. And don't expect us to fuck with you. People say the, tr the really shit when they drunk. Facts. Facts indeed, man. That's definitely one, uh, one code I stick by, bro. It's only three folks, I believe, bro. Three on? folks that's going to tell you the truth. That's a that's a kid, an anger person, and a drunk person. That's the, that's the only folks I think they're going to tell you the truth. A drunk person going to tell you the truth when they're under influence. An anger person going to tell you some real shit if they really mad at you. And a kid ain't gonna lie to you about some shit that's going on. You know what I'm hey, saying? So that's you, the that's the you three. Can argue to say that being uh, drunk gonna make you all three of them shits about the fuck. You gonna act like a kid, you're gonna be angry and you drunk. You know what I'm saying? True mm, shit. This shit, is, this shit is crazy, yo. Like what the fuck is up with Ryan Garcia, yo? Like I, I don't get it. Yeah. Like I don't get where this like spiral I, is. I, came yeah. from. I would hate for that to be like the true statement of it and it's just that simple like clout chasing like if that is truly the case yeah. that is very low that that's very low to stoop to to try to get some clout to say such inflammatory things for attention yeah that's that's, yeah. that's wild that's I think, wild i mean but honestly bro we, we, i mean we nigga we in a society now to the point where it's like you know Regardless of how the context was said or what influence you were in, niggas ain't playing like that, bro. That's talking about some you, you hate you hate niggas and yeah. you talking about like you say he want to dig up the dead and kill him again. Like a goofy nigga, shit niggas not playing about that, bro. Like what is? There's no excuses. There's no excuse as far as you know. What I'm saying moving forward, what what can be said is. Saying I, I was under the influence or I need to go get some help, nigga. Fuck the help, nigga. Yeah, you got you know what I'm saying? The help. You, you, any, any adult has their right mind of what is right and wrong. It's time to start holding niggas accountable of their fucking actions, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? And I just think, I just think that shit is, um, you know, especially when you're like, you know, Ryan Garcia. He, he's he's a he's a big name in the in the boxing community. He he influences a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of kids look up to him. And for you to just be saying some left field shit any any time you want, because you might be under the influence or whatever it is, I'm gonna take the shit as you really meant that shit. And, and there's no, you know what I'm saying, forgivings on on how how it was said or delivered because of you just so out of it. Like, I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it for what you say. If you say you hate niggas, stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Don't expect niggas to help you in or, or supporting your next fight or, or, or to be there surrounding you or, you know what I'm saying, congratulating you and shit like that, but... Uh, None of that bullshit. None of that bullshit, bro. That's just... You wonder why, you know what I'm saying, uh, story, you know what I'm saying, guys like Malcolm X back in the day were preaching more so of that action rather than reaction type of you know what i'm saying type type, type of uh mentality when handling things like this because 
like you like you just you can't just disrespect people like this yo and 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 it's not even like just doing it to people in general now now you're targeting a specific demographic of people you know what i'm saying and this ain't this this ain't this ain't you know 50s 40s 30s you know what i'm saying or even 60s you know what i'm saying at this point you liable to get touched by some 60s keep playing you know what i'm saying you like you know what i'm saying keep playing you got to relax, yo. Like, you cannot be out here talking crazy like that. Like, like you said, it's one thing you be like, oh, I, I hate niggas. Okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We can, not, not that we can ignore it, but you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody about it. Today. But you talking about digging up the dead? And you know, and, 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 and that specific person, you know what I'm saying? Especially how tragic George Floyd's death was. Like, come on, yo. What are you doing, yo? You want to be part of the KKK? Yo. Yeah. Fuck you, nigga. But you yeah, know, I ain't even have to address the KKK joint. That shit is. Like, that shit clown ass nigga, man. <laughs> like, right, Kendrick, they go another one for you, Kendrick. They go another one for you, man. All right. Do your thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do your thing, bro. You got anything else to say on that shit, Quinn? Probably not, I know, because it's... No. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I yeah. figured, man. And, and if Rome was here, y'all yeah, know Rome will uphold the same exact, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. morals that we have around this shit. Rome will probably have way more to say about that shit himself. But you know what I'm saying? This shit is whack. It's wild. It's disgusting. Do better, yo. Get some help. Get some help. Get some help. Drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe to the content. Leave a comment as well, too, man. We're going to catch you on the next one. Peace.